The key word I heard you say is respect. That this, this team is looking for respect. This program is looking for respect. Talk about that a little. Bit. It's something, Reggie, that we we build on. I mean, coming in, we, we started on the bottom of the rising league, and uh, I feel like we've been in a fight for respectability, and uh, and that's the way I coach with our players. But I feel like you've got to earn it, and uh, we put in a lot of work. The thing that I I, I like is to you, you want to be respected by your peers. And that's what we're trying to gain uh, as we try to move up in the Horizon League Conference. Well, you talk a little bit. High expectations. The program's on the rise. You've been ranked pretty high in the conference this year. That's a little different than where, where the program has been. That must make you feel good, too, that the teams in the league and the other coaches in the league think that your team is on the rise. That, that's important because we're asking our guys to invest in the summer, in a weight room, in a gym, uh, just trying to get better. And uh, the reward will come later on. And uh, the recognition is coming, and that's, so, and that's what we want. So um, I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, year three, uh, to be predicted, uh, second in the conference. Uh, I'm happy for our players. I'm happy for our university. But they can't rest on that. No, you no, still no. still got to play. Well, you, you know what? Cool. I think last year's team uh, getting to the semifinals, uh, you know, they, they, they made it happen. They, they worked hard, and they were a tough defensive team. That's something that we have to grow into. And the experience that we're going to have playing a challenging non-conference schedule is going to help get us ready for the Rising League. Let's talk a little bit about that schedule. You start out at one of the most hollow venues in the country, at the Pit in New Mexico. And yeah. I know you and Beast played there, but that was a long time ago. But you, you must be very excited to be taking your team in there and get, and get it off with a team that's ranked. We're, we're excited, Reggie. Uh, they were a three-seed in the NCAA tournament last year. They're predicted to go back to the NCAA tournament. They just put $60 million in their facility. I mean, the place is going to be rocking. But I think that's what players want. I mean, I, I think they want to play against a great competition in, in tough environments, and, and that's how you grow against the competition that we're going to face. Yeah, then Syracuse down the line, then Bradley, three Mac Road games not going to get any easier once you get back home. Well, it's all about preparation and experiences, and, and, and we're going to be challenged. And that's where our chemistry is going to have to be great. Uh, we're going to have to fight through some things, some adversity. Uh, but again, I think that's how, how you grow. We stay together. We don't have a senior uh, on our roster, and uh, <clears throat> so everyone should gain for, for, fu for the future. Now, who <laughs> Who's going to step up and be the leaders? You lost a lot of leadership from your club last year. You had four seniors and very valued members of the team. So who's going to step forward and be the leaders on this on this year's team? You think? I'm really relying. <clears throat> we have six juniors, but I'm really relying on the, on the two returning starters, Chase Simon and Eli Holman, were pre pre predicted second team All Conference players. They've gone through the war. They reached the semifinals of the conference tournament. So they have to use that experience and share with the young, young guys and come to work and compete every day in practice and be that vocal leader. And then also we're open. We're, 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 we're open because we, uh, we're going to need that, that leadership. Yeah, and you have some young players that you have to be very excited about. Not only Junior, but Evan. He's got some good talent. You brought in some good talent. Well, I, I really do. And then, you know, John Hoskins has grown. He's 6'11". As a sophomore, he's still a young player. And then the four freshmen we have in, Evan Brunsma, three-time state champion, 6'7", uh, uh, with good length, uh, with, uh, with Ray coming in, coming off a state championship. I like the idea that those guys have won state championships and are used to winning. Uh, that's important. Yeah, winning breeds winning. That's and, right. And those guys can spread that winning feeling to your players that you have. That's right. Talk a little bit about your expectations here at home. You have some tough non-conference home games. I know Akron's coming in, and people may overlook that, overlook them, but they shouldn't, should they? No, they, they won, I'm going to say, 24 games. They won 20 games the last four years. They've been at the top of the Mid-American Conference, and I wanted to, you know, keep the uh, in-state uh, MAC schools, but I wanted to go out and see one of the top-tier schools, and uh, so we, we get a big challenge with Akron. Talk about a little bit about what you <clears throat> want to see this team accomplish. You're young, you, you, you're going to have some in, inexperienced issues, mm -hmm. but there's no reason why this team can't go for it and, and, go, and go for that top spot in the conference. No, no. I mean, we're, we're preparing and <clears throat> building to try to 
built a championship team and championship program. And uh, we've got to get, get better each and every day in, in practice. We've got to grow and learn what it takes to compete at this level. Um, and, and, that's, and that's where we are. Uh, we're just inexperienced in, in, in that. And I think once we get that, uh, understand how important uh, defense and rebounding is going to be, the value in the basketball, uh, I think we have uh, a lot of guys that can make a basket on this team, and, and which has really helped us. All the best to you. I appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you.